scapular wall slide with roller. For this drill, you're going to grab a roller, you can use sliders, or even a towel on the wall. You're going to set up in a split stance position. That's going to help keep that back lumbar spine nice and neutral and steady from the ground up. And then you're going to get your forms on the roller here, where your, your forearm is basically vertical to the floor, and your thumbs are going to be facing you, so you're in a neutral position through that wrist. And then you want to make sure that you start off with your um, your upper arm here, just at about 80 degrees off of the ground here from the hip, so flexed at 80 degrees here. And then from this position, you're going to drive through the elbows. So right here, I'm actually breathing in as I drive my elbows up and away as if my shoulder blade, my scapula is rotating forward around my thorax or my rib cage. As I come up to the top, I'm still breathing in. And then at the top here, as I'm driving those elbows into the roller here, up the wall, I'm breathing out. So I can get maximal engagement through my serratus anterior here to really help them um, add that strength to the scaps, pulling them forward. And then I'm gonna come back down to that 80 degree uh, position and then resetting, breathing in as I come up. Driving my elbows in, punching those shoulder blades forward and away around my rib cage, breathing out to get max contraction here, keeping my torso in a nice neutral position again, making sure that's all checked in. And still, you can see my arms are collapsing in a little bit. We want to make sure we keep those arms from falling in. We want to keep them externally rotated here and then come back down to that starting position. If you're doing this properly, you should feel this right through here, through your serratus anterior, through your shoulder blade as you drive up and then coming back down.